This is the face of the future of U.S. space flight. He's not an astronaut and never flew a shuttle. Instead, 41-year-old Elon Musk is a dreamer with money and his vision, economical space travel. But the cost of the propellant per flight is only about $150,000. So if we can fully and rapidly reuse the vehicles, the, the cost per flight, um, at least the marginal cost per flight, can drop from, say, $60 million to $150,000. Nine years ago, he opened SpaceX, a commercial venture for space travel. Musk invested a fortune in engineers, scientists, and hardware. Scientists took $800 million and built a reusable rocket. Engineers took $300 million and built a reusable space capsule. Two, one, zero. Eight months ago, SpaceX became the first company to launch and recover a spacecraft from Earth orbit. Musk is so sure of his gamble that SpaceX has signed a fixed-price contract with NASA for 12 cargo missions to the International Space Station. So the partnership is a very key aspect to the program. We both have an alignment of goals. We want it to be safe, they want it to be safe. We want it to be reliable, they want it to be reliable, and we both want it to be cost-effective. NASA has always been reliant on the aerospace industry to supply hardware and software for the space program. In the past, taxpayers paid the bill. But now the difficult fiscal climate means private funding must cover the cost of some flights. It is a much better value for the taxpayer. It takes advantage of an industry that we have all helped uh, develop in this nation and allows them to put their creative and innovative spirit into what they do while NASA does the cutting edge hard thing. In the fall, SpaceX will launch a rendezvous mission to the International Space Station. The first trip to the ISS with astronauts for an American commercial space venture is still three to five years away. With shuttle flights coming to an end and resupply missions to the International Space Station needed for at least another decade, Elon Musk's gamble is poised to pay off. John Belmont, Associated Press.